On February 24th, the full moon will be in Virgo, opposite the Sun in Pisces. This means that the moon will be fully illuminated in Virgo sign. While you may feel like disconnected, tired or exhausted, this one urges you to stay aware and perceptive. Full moons are considered as significant events in astrology. They represent culmination, completion and the peak of energy in a specific zodiac sign. Astrologers often associate full moons with heightened emotions, clarity and a time for releasing or letting go of the things that no longer serve you. And as each moon occurs in a specific zodiac sign influencing the themes and energies associated with that sign. And because this upcoming full moon is coming up in the zodiac sign of Virgo, Virgo is associated with precision, organization and attention to detail. Virgos are often known as visionaries. They see what most people can't see and usually they also create what most people later appreciate. So this is a great energy for the leadership, for organizing your life, for prioritizing what you've been dreaming about, having certain ideas and maybe goals. Now it's time to really organize them in a great system that will be able to for you to actualize it and to bring it to fruition. You're very supported for it. And on the other side, we have Sun in Pisces. Sun may represent your spirit, your drive, your, your essence. And because it is in the sign of Pisces, it may heighten your intuition, your creativity and more fluid dreamy state, which is a wonderful connection because from one perspective, you may feel much more uh, or a greater need, a deeper need to be organized, to prioritize your plans, your goals, your dreams. From other perspective, your intuition is much heightened, your creativity is much heightened. You feel this fluid energy to work towards your goals. And it may manifest the way that um, more you're organizing your life, like let's say you would clean up your room, clean up your space, wherever you live. If you do something like that, your intuition will feel more, let's say, easily to be felt, to be experienced. And therefore you will feel more creative to do something after it. And therefore you will produce a momentum of positive change in your life that will just lead you into more opportunities for positive change and suddenly your life will completely positively change. This is kind of the energy that is present right now and if it is something you're interested to know more about, this video will help you so much with that. So before we start, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, press the notification bell so you can get notifications for daily videos. And it also gives me a sign that you love this kind of videos so I can do more of them. So thank you so much for that. And also thank, thanks to everyone for supporting my art. I'm a visionary artist. So all the art I've created is made with this supportive, inspiring energy. So you can find all of my art on attractpassion.com. Check it out and see if any of it resonates with you. If yes, it's most probably a sign that it's for you, that it has something to give you. So check it out. So what are the challenges during this full moon? Well, the main challenges for many of you who feel more exhausted during this time, who maybe feel more tired or who may feel more overwhelmed because of certain reasons, the main challenges may be that you're not being organized. Maybe your mental state, your psychology is not being organized and we can go through certain practices you can use. Maybe you may recognize there's a lot of emotional intensity, like you may feel more suppressed emotions, like a bit heightened emotions, which is a great time to meditate and to just feel them, release them. And actually the highest form of sensing and feeling and healing yourself is acceptance. Once you fully accept what you feel, the energy will be released because suddenly all you embody is the essence of who you truly are and you don't hold yourself onto certain events from the past anymore because you recognize 
that you're an infinite being, present, content in this moment, and you can decide who you will become as an expression of this essence, as an expression of your soul. Like you choose how you want to be expressed. So the challenge may be you're not being organized in this de department. Maybe ch take care of certain routines in your day. Take care if you have practices that can help you to be aligned with yourself, to feel organized, to feel like you're keeping up the momentum going of a certain positive change, a certain healing, a certain breaking truths or breaking the old patterns that you're keeping momentum going. If you don't feel like you're doing that, you may feel much more exhausted right now. It's because of this energy that is supporting you to organize yourself so you can feel your creativity, you can feel your intuition and you can easily notice where life is calling you right now. So from other perspective, it would mean that um, if you are not organized, it will be much harder for you to follow your intuition because your will is not strong enough. You don't believe that you're able to accomplish what you set for yourself because if you look around yourself, you can find many proofs that you're not capable of doing that. So firstly, you need to get yourself in order, your mind in order and your life in order. And then you start with your ideas, your goals, your visions, your dreams, and then you start the momentum going. It's a powerful change you can do. So it also leads you to taking care of yourself. If you're not taking care of yourself, you will feel much more challenged right now because of this energy. So it's always a good reminder to have certain self-care routines. For those of you who have them, you may feel much more creative right now and you may have a great clarity over the things you could prioritize even more or organize even more and where to release them and surrender them. So another thing that may challenge you is to keeping balance between maybe work and play. So whatever is the thing you may notice right now being out of balance, finding the balance in these aspects of your life may help you to feel more aligned with yourself and also with your vision of the future. So the first thing I want to give you to flow with these energies right now is what I've mentioned, organizing and decluttering. So Virgos often find joy in creating order out of chaos. And I'm a Virgo, I, I can completely understand that. So my nature was never to be organized or my nature was more like uh, when I was a kid, my room was quite chaotic and and I was never good at taking care of my space around me. But as I was growing up, I've learned that actually if I take care of the space around me, my inner space takes care of itself. Like I feel more in order as well. I feel more clarity and I feel more disciplined, which is something positive I can do for myself. So I'm taking care of the space around me. So Virgas often find joy in creating order out of chaos. So organizing and decluttering spaces can be a very satisfying thing you can do right now, but also something that during the process of, let's say, taking care of the space around you, a lot of clarity and insights may find you due to Pisces energy. Your intuition can be the most felt when you actually distract yourself with doing something that's good for you, that's healthy for you. So it's an incredible thing. Like, for example, when I'm painting, it's like painting would distract my intellectual mind to such a degree that I feel completely intuitively aligned with the process of creating. So therefore, every time I'm painting, I'm completely connected with the painting and therefore I don't need to think what will be the next line I need to make. I just, I just surrender and I know what I need to do. So most of the time, most of my paintings are not planned, like I'm not sketching them. I'm not uh, making like plans for how they should be. Usually I just see a vision for it in my meditation and then I start working on it and I allow the painting to guide me. That's why each of my paintings is so unique and they are so diverse. So that's what happens when we do something that's good for us. When you take care of the 
place around you, when you organize your habits a little bit. Upgrade them. A great time to upgrade them. There's a lot of focus on details right now. So you may notice that, well, even though you like your routines, there's still something that could kind of, let's say, improve your workouts, improve your meditations. Let's try it out. A great thing that can help you to improve these aspects of yourself. Then healthy eating and cooking right now, something that you may focus on. Virgos are known for their attention to health. So because they are visionaries, they understand that if they want to stay vital, vibrant and creative, they need to be healthy. So treating oneself with nutritious meals or experimenting with new healthy maybe diets or whatever, can be very valuable right now for you. So see if any of this resonates with you and notice what are you lacking the most at this point? Like, what is your health state from 1 to 10? And what do you think that is blocking you that it's not higher, that it's not 10 out of 10? Like, what do you think that is stopping you from being 10 out of 10? And write it down and see what could be the solution for that, the remedy for that. Sometimes it's just, we don't know what would be the most healthiest for us. So it would be good to talk with someone who can help us in that de department. Because <laughs> until we don't know what we don't know, we feel lost, right? And then we recognize, oh, it's much easier than I thought. And we get awakened, right? So that's uh, an interesting insight. Then another thing that uh, may help you so much to use this energy of the full moon is planning and productivity, something we've been talking today about. And it's reminding you that creating detailed plans, to-do lists, and setting some achievable goals align with Virgo's love for precision and productivity. And I can completely relate to that because if I don't organize my, my life, if I don't have a certain to-do list for my day, well, my mind is quite creative. So I can, I can mentally jump to so many different projects, but physically I will start none. So I need to, <laughs> I need to notice, you know, what, um, what are the main things to start with? Uh, you know, prioritizing a little bit things that need to be done today and we become who we are practicing to be so when we start taking care of that we notice well it's not so hard actually it's quite satisfying where we start seeing that we are creating some results by baby steps we are creating some results and often actually when i'm coaching people i notice so many creative people have this same struggle like they have so many incredible ideas not just for their projects also for finances like this could make me so much of money but i've never started and i'm like why don't start well because i also have so many different ideas for these other aspects of my life and then i don't know where to start and i always say look write down all of your ideas and then ask yourself which one of them are the most uh, which one of them could you actualize right now? Like, which one of them could you start right now? Like, for which of these ideas you don't need much money to start? And then see which one could be the most beneficial, the most maybe valuable, which one could make you the most money right now, or whatever is the thing. And then slowly we start filtering ideas until we come to the one that is the most meaningful, beneficial, purposeful, and maybe the easiest to actualize and if it doesn't work, we go to the next one and to the next one and to the next one until we find the one that works. And usually one is always hidden in the jungle that works, right? But, you know, if we just stay lost in the sea of ideas, we'll not get anywhere. So we need to start filtering all these thoughts. And that's then how we start making progress and it can be really powerful. So. For me, it was always a challenge, but I found a way and that's how now I'm able to do daily videos and paintings and all the work behind it and coachings and all of that. 
right? We need to learn to organize ourselves. And then life starts working in our favor. We take care of what is in our power to control so everything else can work in our favor. Then mindfulness, my friends, mindfulness. Virgos may appreciate activities like mindfulness, meditation, yoga, or other practices that can promote mental and emotional well-being. So sure, this full moon may influence a lot of your emotional system. It's good that you do something that can help you to feel like at home within your body. If there are certain disturbing emotions, well, at some point you need to accept them so we can release this energy. Acceptance is the highest form of healing. The highest, the highest position of a healer is the one that can accept everything. So what this time is really teaching you is to learn to accept. There's many triggers that may be present in your life, like many things may be triggering you. Your life may be manifesting right now the way that many new things may trigger you. It's only for you to learn to accept them. And through certain practices, you can find different perspectives. So if you've been ignoring meditation, if you've been ignoring doing some yoga, some stretching or some other practices that resonate with you, it's a great time to start to prioritize them as well. Then another thing that uh, with this full moon may be quite inspiring for you is to learning and developing new skills. It's just something that you may feel drawn to, especially if you're working on a certain project or business idea or something that uh, like you feel enthusiastic to start, but at the same time, you don't know what you don't know. Well, engaging in certain educational workshops, maybe, or new books or, or information that can help you to turn the light on these dark spots where you still kind of feel lost. You may feel very supported to do this kind of a work right now. So wherever you are at um, your life in this current phase, if you feel deeply drawn into building up certain new skills, it's a good time to focus on that. So don't be afraid. If you've been invited to a certain workshop, if somebody gave you a book, read it, go into it and see what it will teach you. Because, you know, you never know what you discover somewhere in the unknown. So be open for that. Then when it comes to self-care routines, my friends, this full moon is a very important one when it comes to elevating your frequency, elevating your energy. So reflect a little bit about how do you feel in your own body, like the clothes you're wearing, is it still resonating with you? Because I know for myself, like every single year or maybe every second year, I recognize, well, most of the clothes that I have are from my old life. Like, it, it doesn't resonate with me anymore. So I start updating myself a little bit. And every time I do that, I, I start to feel really, like, refreshed. So this is a form of self-care. Then whatever you're lacking, maybe it's working out or stretching or... or I don't know, skincare, or relaxation, massage therapy, soulness, any kind of a spa or whatever is the thing that you may feel you've been putting it aside a little bit. Like I know in the past I, I was very frequent with massages. I have two friends that are um, doing massage therapy. So I was quite frequent with that, but I've noticed, well, recently I was not so much. And just today I was thinking, well, I'm kind of missing that. So this is something I'm focusing on right now. And maybe notice if that's something that could help you a little bit to stay aligned and to really take care of the vessel in which you're experiencing this wonderful life. Like it's a main thing that can help you to not just to feel better, but also to feel more connected with nature, with yourself with your inner nature. So take care of that. And the last thing I want to mention right now is to get into researches. Right now, as due to this Virgo's full moon, you may enjoy 
getting into details, into readings, into researching, into learning about specific topics that you may be interested about, that can bring you some clarity, some fulfillment, some enthusiasm, some new knowledge that can propel your life towards your dream. So whatever you may be called to, like whatever knowledge, whatever you're interested about, go and research it. You're deeply supported for it. And if you open up, your intuition will be guiding you towards the right books, towards the right workshops, towards the right information. And you will feel like everything is just finding you at the right time. All that you need to do then is to research it and to take action with it, to implement it, to see what works, what doesn't work to filter it and to create or develop out of it your own philosophy that works. Don't just hold up to certain beliefs that other people created for themselves. You need to develop your own philosophy that works for you and practice it to see, okay, yeah, it truly works. Because then you can develop a system that is not just beneficial for you, you can share it with others. And other people will notice, well, it works because it worked for you. and. You never know how many people you can actually help because you've helped yourself. So my friends, I hope this visionary's energy can inspire you to be, to be your own visionary, to envision a life that will inspire you and that will encourage you to, to think like you truly are the creator of your life. So stay organized, stay disciplined, stay persistent and make sure that every single day you do your best at whatever you're doing. I hope you found a great value in today's video. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. Till next time, one love. Hey, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed in today's video. I want to remind you that we've just opened a fresh new store called attractpassion.com where you can find all of my work, original paintings, you can find prints of all of my art in different sizes. So go there and check it out, attractpassion.com. If you will use the code PASSION15, PASSION15, you will get 15 off onto your first order. So go there and check it out and to anyone who would love to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I'm offering one-on-one -on -one coaching. We have some free spots once again. You can go and check out the link in the description of this video where you can find everything there. So go and check it out. If you would like to do something with the inspiration that you feel right now, it will help you so much to transform your life. I want you to do something with it. If you feel inspired, you have to do something with it. So my friends, Till next time, one love.